Hi, I'm Sandra Meadows. In my day job, I am the chief executive of an organisation called Bosca in Bristol, um, which is an organisation that works in the voluntary sector um, and supporting all the other groups and the efforts that we're making around COVID. I have had five members of my family contract COVID. One was hospitalised, seriously, and that was a young man. So that really brought it home to me. Unfortunately, so they also lost my mother late last year. Wasn't a direct COVID-related death, but I think indirectly because of the strain on the healthcare and the care system, um, she, she died. I think it's really important that people talk to each other Talk about the fear. The fear is real. I was scared of taking the vaccine. I joked about, you know, the fact that I don't know what's going to happen to me in a year's time. Um, and how have they tested it so quickly? How can it be relied upon and all of those things? What about the past where there have been mass rollouts of things and actually there have been some really negative impacts from that? I went through all of that and all of that fear and worry and I got to the point where I thought, okay, there's, there's the fact that black and Asian people are suffering more from this, more vulnerable. If you add that to the same pop parts of the population not taking the vaccine, we're in an even worse situation. So I think it's be informed. Get your information from reliable sources. I think trust is a major issue here. Um, for whatever reason, uh, people are not trusting what they're hearing coming from government. So I think rebuilding that trust is critical. And for me, I look to the people that either I know or who are working in a position where my health and well-being is their job. They wouldn't be doing this if they weren't trying to look after people like me. So they have a vested interest in making our lives better. I trust them. There have always been conspiracy theories. There always will be. But I think you have to navigate your way through that. Talk to your um, community leaders, talk to your faith leaders, talk to your friends, talk to your family. And it's a very personal decision. Me coming here today, I had to lose the fear, I had to lose the worry. I had to think about the implications of what I'm saying. Um, and it's still worth it because I do not want to see any more members of my community dying unnecessarily for the sake of a, a little injection in the arm. If that can save lives, then I'm prepared to step forward.